So this is our new thermal electric liquid cooler. Thermal electric liquid cooler. Right. That's like a Peltier kind of yes, effect. Exactly. Ah, this is something I wanted them to do a long time ago. Now they're doing it. Okay. This, if you notice, a heat sink on one end, fans to cool on. This is this is the thermal electric. Uh, system there. Then you have another radiator which cools the liquid and it goes into this water block which then has temperature reading that's 20 degrees. Check it out, 20 degrees. Nice. Thermal electric cooler. This is very much a prototype. We're still working on developing it. We'll probably have sleep tubing over it. All right. Give it more of a premium look. Okay. You know who to contact, right? If you want to. Okay, cool. Hey, what's up guys? Winston here from Funky Kit. Today we'll be taking a quick look at the uh, Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero All-in-One Cooler. Wow, look at the size of this box. The Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero is an all-in-one CPU cooler that's designed for Intel processors that uses the uh, LGA1200 socket. It features a unique water block that uses Intel's cryo cooling technology uh, to help reduce CPU temperatures and delivers a cooling solution unlike any other traditional CPU coolers out there. This will allow your processor to reach higher frequencies and lower voltages. The ML360 Sub-Zero utilizes a unique combination of hardware, software and firmware to push the thermal limitations of your processor. The unique water block houses a circuit board that features a 52 by 52 mm tech unit with built-in sensors for temperature and dew point, as well as a unique condensation barrier, all of which uh, helps to minimize the effects of condensation. Oh wait, time out! What the hell is the thermal electric cooling anyway? Okay, so thermal electric cooling is better known as TEC or tech. For all those who don't know what it is, basically, in a nutshell, it uses electrical current to create a heat flux at the junction of the two different types of uh, materials. Uh, this is called the uh, Peltier effect. Uh, one side gets really hot while the other side gets really cold. TECs are extremely power hungry and in this particular model, the ML360 Sub-Zero, it can consume a total power consumption of up to 200 watts. So yes, we recommend a power supply of 850 watts or higher. Okay, so I've heard that the ML360 Sub-Zero can reduce CPU temperatures somewhere in the region of between 20 degrees Celsius and a chilly 5 degrees Celsius at full load with all the cores overclocked. It'll be interesting to see how this uh, thermal electric cooler will perform against other AIO coolers that we've tested in the past. So I can't wait to put this into a test rig and see if there's any condensation and whether this will affect the performance. So let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig, but before we do that, I'll do a quick unboxing. See you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the uh, Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero featuring Intel's cryo cooling technology. It's a very large box. Let's have a look inside. There we go. Okay, we have the Cooler Master in collaboration with Intel. And uh, it's a very nice large box. Let's have a look inside. Okay, wow. All right, so... Let's have a look at the accessories box first. Okay. In here we have um, a SATA connector right here, powering up the, uh, the fans, the fan headers. And then we also have a USB cable that connects up to the, um, the water block. We also have uh, a bag of connectors and uh, screws and uh, mounting plates kind of uh, holders there and we have the Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero user manual and at the back here we have the Intel uh, LGA1200 uh, backplate which needs to be mounted onto the motherboard so uh, this cooler only supports the LGA1200 uh, socket so um, fortunately uh, we might only see this available for Intel. However, who knows? We might actually see 
some of the uh, AM4 socket connectors. But anyway, so at the moment only for Intel uh, LGA 1200. Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, the radiator. It's a 360 millimeter radiator, and you can see it's already mounted with three fans, uh, 320 millimeter fans, no RGB, but um, I guess you can actually mount your own RGB fans if you wanted. So, yeah, um, 360 millimeter radiator. Very large, very nice. Okay, let's put this on the side and have a look at the uh, CPU water block. All right, it's a very large uh, water block. You can see it's quite tall. Um, so make sure you have enough uh, space and room in your case. Let's take this off and have a look at the, uh, the water block closely. All right, okay. Cooler Master logo right here. <coughs> As you can see, there's a uh, eight pin PCI power right here and also there's a power cable that goes into here which powers up the uh, the tech the uh, thermoelectric plate and there's the USB connector which you can then uh, connect up to your motherboard and you can actually download the software to control the uh, the cooler all right this actually instantly comes off the top cover and uh, will you see the circuitry right here uh, which controls the uh, thermoelectric plate. Okay. All right. On the other side, <coughs> we can see the uh, the copper base, nice thick copper base right here, and it's pre-applied with uh, some thermal paste. All right. And then here you can see the lip of the uh, condensation protection, right here, and that looks uh, pretty neat. It's very tall uh, CPU water block, but. Uh, I'm sure you can actually fit this in most cases, I'm guessing. <laughs> All right, let's put this back and have a look at the pump. Let's put this here inside. All right, let's look at the pump. Here we go. And this pump here has the power connector right here. And you can see uh, it's a small pump, but um, it's got this metal plate here, which you can actually mount to the, uh, the chassis itself. Um, so yeah. I'm sure you can unmove that around and actually mount it to a different uh, vertically or horizontally depending on your orientation. Um, yeah, very nice. Compact little pump. And you can see the, uh, the braided cables right here. Very nice. Nice thick braided cables for the uh, tubing. All right. And that's pretty much it with the uh, unboxing. Uh, we're going to mount this onto our test rig and see how it looks and performs and of course um, we would be interested to see the temperature readings for the uh, Intel processor. We'll be using the Core i9 uh, uh, 10900K and uh, we'll see how it works uh, when we overclock it as well and see if we can overclock all the cores and we'll see what type of temperatures we can get. So there was a quick unboxing of the uh, Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 uh, Sub-Zero featuring Intel's Cryo cooling technology.